Hey, this is Corey from Wolfpack Woodcraft, and the book of the week is Bushcraft First Aid, A Field Guide to Wilderness Emergency Care. Uh, so this is another book in the series. And this one, uh, I haven't heard very many people talk about it. It's not the most popular book in general, and it's not the most popular book in the series. Uh, and I think the reason for that is because, again, it's very specific. And so it's not talking about your first aid kit. You just pull out your first aid kit. This is how you use what's in there to take care of yourself. This is wilderness material. This is using a shamog as a tourniquet. This is identifying plants that are poisonous or helpful. This is identifying uh, ticks and bugs that are poisonous or that can hurt you. Uh, this is about starting fire to prevent hypothermia, layering your clothes, uh, evaporative cooling to help cool you down to prevent heat exhaustion. Uh, this is more of a, this is more wilderness based, uh, not first aid. Like this isn't, there's no first aid kit in here. This is all just wilderness, okay? And so because of that, I don't think that it appeals to a large population of people. But it is useful knowledge. So let's jump into it. Uh, time spent. Was it worth the time spent reading? It could save your life. Being able to identify plants that can help you. Being able to identify plants that can hurt you. There is colored pictures in the center here to help you more clearly identify things. Uh, again, there's a lot of bugs. It talks about Lyme's disease and other things that could happen from ticks. And so there is a lot of really, really good knowledge in here. Uh, easy to read, uh, easy to pick up and get into. It is easy to pick up. The Again, just like all the books in this series, there's these little blurps. And because they have these little blurps, so there's chapters and then there's sections within the chapter. So I can easily pick it up, read a little section, put it down, come back later, read another little section. I'm not dedicating a large chunk of time reading an entire chapter or a large section. It's literally just a couple paragraphs, maybe a page at most, and then you have a cut off and then the next section. And so it's easy to read. It's very easy to read. It's hard to get in, pick up and get into though because of the topic, right? First aid isn't the most appealing topic. Uh, when it comes to outdoor gear and primitive skills, those are really exciting topics that a lot of people want to learn a lot about. First aid is not as appealing. And so I found myself having, like forcing myself to pick it up and read it, uh, forcing myself to get through a blurb and then forcing myself to read another blurb. And there is a lot of really good information in here. I'm glad that I read it. I'm glad that I have the information, but it, you, I did have to force myself, especially through some of the topics in here. It was hard for me to really get into it. Uh, what I learned is what I learned worth the time spent. Again, it could save your life. Not only did I like it because of the knowledge that was in it, but like it talks about tarantulas and black widows. And at first, I was like different plants. And at first I was like, this doesn't apply to me, right? I don't have to deal with tarantulas or black widows or some of the other things in this book. But then as I got to thinking about it, what it allows me to do is that I might go somewhere with these things and it's nice for me to have a general idea of what these things look like what they can do what they're capable of and so that i can avoid them right so if i find myself going somewhere with black widow spiders i can check in here make sure that i'm not exposing myself to a situation that i'm just ignorant about okay i'm no longer ignorant about things that i might be exposed to if I were to travel, you know what I mean? And so it's nice to have, one of the things this whole series does is it kind of opens your mind up to different possibilities and different outcomes and uh, different, it, it make, gives you a different mindset, not just a home base mindset, but it more broadens your horizon. If I go somewhere else, this is information that I will want to have. And so that's what I really like about this book is it does kind of open you up to a more worldwide view and not just your local little area view. Uh, enjoy having, happy to have in the collection. It is a good book. 
Uh, it's not my favorite first aid book. It's not my favorite outdoors book, but it is a good book. And so take that for what you will. I do enjoy it. Again, this is for plant identification. There's better books for that. For insects and everything, this is nice because I don't have to go through a whole big book of insects. It just has the important ones in here. And so it does have its place, but honestly, I could probably take it or leave it. Uh, aesthetics. It's a great looking book. All the books in this series I really like. The illustrations, the colored pictures even. this They do a very, very good job. This whole series about showing you exactly what you need to see so that you understand what you're reading. Okay, so you will read a section and there'll be a chart, a diagram, a colored picture, uh, whatever it is that you need to visually see to understand what you're reading, it's there. And that's what I like about this whole series of books is it very it really is a good looking book. It really is easier to read because of the pictures and diagrams. Uh, they really do make it so that you uh, they want to make sure you understand exactly what it is you're reading and you can see what you're reading as well. So I really like this book for its aesthetics. And so because of that, I'm going to be giving it a six out of 10. Uh, which is not for everyone. It's kind of a specialty item. The the thing is, is, I don't think this book is going to be for everyone. Okay, and even if you did have this book, it might not be exactly what it is that you're looking for. You might have a first aid kit full of stuff, and you want to learn how to use it. This book isn't going to get you there, right? And so, it if the wilderness. First aid, if using basic kit that you could carry with you into the woods and natural materials to aid you in first aid, this is the book for you. This is, I highly recommend this for somebody that's looking for that kind of book that's specifically designed to first aid on not using a first aid. If you didn't have a first aid kit, this will help you get through that situation. And if that is something that you are into, this is a good book. This has a lot of really good information in it. But if that's not something that you're actively seeking out, there's probably better books out there for you. So with that being said, I'll leave a link to this book in the description box down below. Make sure to leave any knowledge or questions in that comment section. Make sure to subscribe because next week we're going to be talking about trapping, gathering, and cooking. So subscribe, hit that little bell so that you don't miss out. And I can't wait to see you next week.